Hi everyone, I'm Peter. And I'm Tony, and we're the co-founders of Maple. Back in 2013, my dad was in his early 90s and, and becoming very frail. Mum was in her mid-80s with dementia. They were living at home in Wagga, which is where I was born, but they also had some home help and support through a traditional provider. Different people were being rostered to the house on a daily basis. So my dad would often say, I get a knock at the door in the morning and I've never seen this person before. And with dementia, you can become quite anxious. You can become quite fearful if you don't have familiarity and you don't know what's happening. For both of them, it was more or less this concept, we don't need these strangers in our life and they wanted to be left alone. They were gonna cope on their own. But we sort of realized that was gonna be challenging. And so it was really about, okay, how could we build a solution that would connect people like my parents with people in their community uh, that they could actually build a relationship with and build trust with. And luckily at that stage, you know, I knew Tony and we actually decided to sort of leverage a lot of that background uh, and his background in coming together to try and, you know, build Maple. I started my career as an investment banker. And before that, I guess I got my real education. I used to, I grew up with a family of builders. So I, um, actually spent most of my holidays uh, working on a building site. I remember Client Zero uh, very vividly. A client uh, who was looking after her elderly mum, uh, she had early stages of dementia, uh, was at the end of her tether and uh, she called up and we took her through the platform. She managed to find someone that she connected with. Literally that was all done within the first 24 hours. That original worker that she got, that was a two or three year relationship. You know, right from the bat, we got really positive feedback about the value that Mabel could provide. It was an exciting time, but also a stressful one. But I feel like most of the DNA of Mabel was formed in that first year in terms of its culture and its mission and its product and the value that it was delivering both to clients and workers. But pretty quickly through doing Mabel, we got quite close to a lot of people with disability and so it was through the generosity of all the people that came to Mabel and sharing their stories with us which helped us understand you know how the Mabel platform could make a difference to people with disability as well. The social impact for me resonated because uh, in my earlier career days you know I got exposed to a lot of founders that were solving some pretty complicated problems and if you're going to put so much effort into something and it's going to be such a part of your work life you want it to have something that's a bit broader than yourself and has some sort of long longevity to its impact. You don't go past a day where you're not reading about the challenges with the NDIS, the challenges in home care, the challenges with budget, workforce, rural and remote communities. And I actually think we're part of the solution. I'm really excited about where we go from here and I think in some ways we're just getting started trying to use technology and try and provide tools that make engaging on Mabel simpler, easier and more fulfilling. For a support worker thinking about joining Mabel, I think we want to unlock the opportunity for you to really run a business that you're proud of. I think the benefits that you get on Mabel is that the level of remuneration that you can that you can get as well as the ability to choose who you work with. For people that are looking to do a few hours in their community and try and provide a positive impact, we can cater for that. For someone that wants to make a career out of it and feels like um, you know that they have a calling to help people in their community, we can also cater for that. I think we want to unlock all of that potential people have so that they can shape the future of aged care and disability support. Mm -hmm.